Okay, hi everybody and welcome back to The Code Room. All right, in previous episodes, we showed you what CSS was all about, how to incorporate it into your document in three different ways, and we ended up on the most common way, which was an external file. Now, in the next couple episodes, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna play around with the various properties of CSS, okay? So we're gonna play around with colors, borders, text align, all this stuff. So you guys just get familiar with certain CSS properties and you guys know what's available to you. Now by no means is this an extensive, comprehensive list of all the properties, but it just gives you an idea of what you can do with CSS, okay? All right, so just to recap on where we were, we have a style.css, uh, we have a style.css file open here, okay? And we've styled headers, paragraphs, anchors, links, and Im or list items and images. And we have our HTML document here, okay? In this episode, we're just gonna play around with styling the headers, okay? So everything that we can do with headers, well, I shouldn't say everything, a bunch of things that we can do with headers, okay? So let's open up our style.css here, okay? And we've already colored this thing blue, we've already had a font family, font size 30 points, okay? Let's see what else we can do with this, okay? So one thing we can do is we can actually center this thing, okay? So let's say we want our web page to have these, uh, all of these headers centered, okay? So for that, we use what's called text align. So text dash align, all right? And we're, there are various values we can have here. We can have left, we can have right, and we can have center, okay? Just like you use text align in Microsoft Word, for example, okay? So let's save that, and boom. There we go, all the headers are centered. All right, so what else can we do? Let's uh, play with the background. So let's say we make the background a gray color. Save that, and there we go, okay? Well, now that the background is gray, I'm not loving the uh, blue text, so I'm gonna actually switch that to white. So let's make the color white. There we go, that's looking pretty nice, all right? And you know what? I kinda like a little bit more space around this, okay? So I'm gonna use what's called padding, okay? And what that's gonna do is give me some padding around the content, okay? So in the movies of the content, it's gonna give me a little bit of space above, below, and left and right of this, okay? Now we'll get into a very detailed discussion about padding and the box model in the future, but for now we can just see it, it'll add a little bit of space around it, okay? So let's add like 10 pixels around the header. There we go. Okay, that's looking pretty nice. And the other thing is, you know what, I like all my headers maybe to be capitalized, okay? So let's use the text transform property and we can say uppercase. Save that and there we go, okay? So it's looking pretty nice. Now it's the font is looking a little big so let's reduce that a little bit. Maybe we'll go to 20 points, save that, refresh. All right, so that's looking pretty nice. And maybe I wanna create a little bit of spacing between these actual uh, letters themselves, okay? So let's, let's add some uh, letter spacing in between there. So letter spacing, and maybe we'll put five pixels between each letter. There we go, okay? Uh, that's maybe a little bit too condensed. Maybe we'll go 15 pixels. There we go, okay? Movies, TV, video games. Okay, so the header is looking pretty good and you can actually see there's actually a lot of flexibility in what you can do with the header. Now, one thing I'm gonna to introduce to you guys here really briefly is the idea of hex colors, okay? So we actually have this color white and this color gray to specify this, and there's only so many HTML colors that are pre-programmed, okay? Like red, blue, orange, so on and so forth, but it's not the full spectrum of colors that you can actually pick, all right? So if you actually wanna look at the full color spectrum, you have to use what are called hex codes for your color, okay? Now, you can get pretty technical in the discussion. Um, they represent RGB colors in hex digits, but for your uh, intents and purposes, I would recommend if you're starting out and you don't know what hex colors are, you go to Google and you Google hex color picker, okay? And Google actually has this built in directly here, and you can basically slide this any way you want, okay, to whatever color you want, okay? And so let's say I, I want kind of like a lightish blue background, okay? And I just slide this to wherever I want, kind of like this kind of pale blue here. And the very top thing here you'll see is the hex code. That's what you want, okay? So if you copy that, including the hashtag itself, 
copy. And anywhere where you have your color, you can replace that with a hex code. So here we have gray. I'm gonna put the hex code 9BB3C1, okay? So save that, come back here, refresh, and we have that nice kind of blue color, all right? So anywhere where you can put a color name, you can use a hex color, right? And again, without getting into the details of exactly what the RGB values are and what hexadecimal is all about, you can basically use this uh, color picker and then you can put that into your website, okay? This also becomes really handy when you deal with graphic designers or branding companies and they have a specific color palette. They should be able to give you the hex codes and you can incorporate those directly into your website. All right, that's it for styling headers. We'll see you in the next one.